first of all, check it out. <laughs> Got this logo set, finally started building it. It has some more boards throughout the entire thing. I think I have like two boards left to build, but I got busy. But to the actual point of the video, today we are watching Chris Hansen, one of his most popular ones. It's about a plumber, and it's from his Hansen vs. Predator, you know, time frame, which has a lot of like the most popular ones. I still think there was one I haven't reacted to yet from this like era. It was like the pizza guy. I hope that one's really popular, but we are seeing this one here today. Uh, we do have some cheese again. I got these fancy fucking crackers that someone gave me. Because I wouldn't buy them. <laughs> I wouldn't buy them myself. But I'm very appreciative because they're so sweet. And I got this cheese. It's called like La Roulette Cranberry. It, I, I don't know. I, I cannot speak what other language this is supposed to be. I assume French. But it's so fucking good. So... Thank you, buddy, for giving me this around my birthday. It basically tastes like ice cream. And it kind of looks like ice cream. It's like cream cheese type of taste. It's really fucking good. This guy from New York City just drove more than 50 miles in the rain to have sex with someone he thinks is a 12-year-old girl. You heard right, a 12-year-old. Hi, Poppy. Come on in. It's so good to see you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a strong start. I was about to start this guy for driving. Depending, could be like an hour, a little over an hour. Um, in the rain. But then it was just like, why did the decoy greet them that way? I don't know why I try to eat with these videos. It always... <laughs> Fuck, it makes me so not ugly. Fucking disgusting. Joshua Cologne likes to be called Poppy, Latin slang for daddy. But we have another name for him. Predator. Chris, I love your show. You know, you do a, <laughs> you do a lot of good. But, um... We all know both those things of he's a predator and what poppy means. We know, my we know, bro. We know. He's 32 years old, old enough to be the girl's father. He lives in Queens and works for a plumbing company in Brooklyn. Besides poppy, he likes to be called boss. His profile on the link app shows he belongs to groups like Kush Smokers Are Us and Love Seekers, a site for teens. Traffic cams with. <coughs> okay, got a fucking drink. Okay, uh, he's a plumber from Brooklyn. Uh, that's that's pretty much all I remember. Some and then there, there was something I was. Uh, I guess me pausing this video was kind of pointless. I only gotta get comments, people being like, "Oh my god, you pause way too much," and I do. I do pause too much. But you know, for certain things, I kind of have to, right? Because, like, I will get copies right. And I still do, even when I do the, you know, pausing. So, and they don't, like, there's a certain amount that you're supposed to react to, and it makes it fine, basically. Cologne makes the first contact, and after some innocent chat, he sends some sexually charged texts about how he'll take her virginity. He then makes a bizarre proposal no adult should ever make to a 12-year-old. You make me more happier. It's too bad you aren't old enough to marry. I would marry you. After she tells him her mom is going out of town, Cologne reveals his fear of getting caught. And if your mom comes back and I'm there, I could get in serious trouble and go to jail. So I'm home from school and... The on-site decoy is posing as the 12-year-old named Jenna Claire. She's talking to Cologne as he drives up I-95 from New York City to our sting house in Fairfield. Be really careful when you drive up, okay? But it's not the rush hour this guy has to worry about. They're gonna go in about the cameras, which I'm most surprised they got cameras of the highway. Which is just like, how the fuck do you even get that? <laughs> like, you didn't set up like... One of your like trash cams or like water bottle cams 
on the fucking highway. Fucking dude talks to someone for what? Once or twice and he's just like, let's get married to a fucking child. What is wrong with you? Even if that was a, to like, to an adult, that's weird. Let alone you're gonna be like, you know, to a fucking kid. Holy shit. He's carrying an overnight bag as he walks to the back door. Our on-site decoy, a 19-year-old theater student who could pass for a preteen, invites him inside. Watch again. He locks the door behind him. What could he be thinking? Did you get here okay, though? Were the roads bad? Stark, I mean, really Look what I made you. Oh, nice. Thank you. Those are red velvet? Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah, I like them. Oh, do you want to try picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you bring me? I, bring, I brought dinner for myself. Because oh. I, 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 uh, I didn't get to finish my dinner. Oh, that's okay. I was kind of in a rush. You can finish. You gotta save the worst for last, first of all. <laughs> it's like, what did he bring me? Which is dumb trying to see, you know, so he can admit what he has already and the reason he bought them. So he can't, like, lie about it later. And... He's just like, oh, dinner for myself. <laughs> Which is, holy shit. And just like, what the actual funk? What did he plan that he would have to lock the door? That is, that's just like really concerning. We've seen a lot of insane stuff with them, like having bad stuff in their car and things like that. You know, that would have... Kept them in one place or gotten rid of them for good. But uh, I think this is the first time we've seen something like this, which it's always really concerning when you get something really bad, like a predator, and then you add another lover to it. <clears throat> it's pretty much like a hat on the hat of a horrible person. Because I can't say it on YouTube, but we can all imply why he's locking that door. Uh, it's pretty much he's not going to take no for an answer if it comes down to that. You can finish. I had stuff earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then we can have cupcakes. Grab me something, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It's a nice house. Thanks. I wish I had a house like this. <laughs> Might I use a bathroom? Because I, I was, it was way older for so long. Yeah, it's uh, right here. Kind of, you look hotter than the picture. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. Yeah, right there. Are you nervous? Oh. No, here, this one. Oh. Yeah, I know, it's little. Yeah, okay. That's cool. It's old fashioned, yeah? Yeah. When he comes out of the bathroom, he sees me. They're doing the switcheroo. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> that he goes in to see her. One second and goes in, comes out, and sees Chris. That's fucking great. But for those of you seen the show, if you saw that door you was going down, it has like the curtain by it, which basically means there's someone hiding. If there's like a police officer, security, um, one of the teams like doing like the tech stuff, and you know, like camera guys or something, he would have just walked in, which would have been so fucking awkward. <laughs> But that would have been fucking hilarious in itself, but this is, this is gonna be great. Is there a light switch in here? Oh, it's behind you, is that it? Come on out, Joshua. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Jenna Clara? Uh, it was on an app link. And why did you think it was appropriate to talk to a girl who said she was 12 years old? I don't know why. 12? I know. It was wrong. What did you bring with you tonight? Huh? What did you bring with you tonight? Clothes. Clothes. Why would you need to change of clothes? Because I was going to stay over. Stay over? With a 12-year-old girl? Yeah. And what were you going to do with this girl? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Um, I guess, you know, I guess have sex. Have sex? Yeah. Oh my god. He just admits everything. What did you bring? <laughs> Why did you bring a bag? Uh, I was gonna spend the night. Why are we gonna spend the night? Well, I guess, you know, we're gonna. And it's just. It's just wonderful. Because. I know some judge is just going to have a field day. Shit like this just makes their job so much easier. Like, what does Chris even ask them at this point? He just said everything from the get-go. Like, really, at this point, he can only humiliate him more, which I hope he does. It's too bad you aren't old enough. I would marry you. Mm. You would marry a 12-year-old girl. If she was old enough. If she was old enough. But why would you even say that to a 12-year-old? Do you have any nieces and nephews, younger cousins? Yeah. Okay. Well, what if a guy was hitting on them like this? Yeah, I wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. So explain to me what was going on in your mind that made you think it was okay to come here and do the very same thing. I, 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 I don't, don't want to say anything more. You don't want to say anything more? Well, you pretty much already said it. Did you bring condoms? Yes. Where are they? In my bag. <laughs> I don't want to say anything more. Well, you pretty much said everything. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. He tries to do the excuse. The first time in this episode, he's just been on this the entire time, but the, the dumb excuse where he's like, oh, I don't know. It's like, well, no, I meant it this way. And then he's just like, if she was an adult, and he's like, yeah, but why would you say that? That's weird. And it's like, Dawn, like, he's so defeated, and I love it, like, his defeated expressions, his tone of voice, it's just fucking great. Yeah, well, we'll finally make out and make love. I was thinking of staying over and leaving the next morning. So when I come over, we'll go to your room, and you'll take off all your clothes, yeah. since I'm the yeah. boss. Why did you have her call you Poppy? I don't want to say anymore. What is Poppy? It's Latin, Latin of saying. Nickname? Yeah. You wanted her to call you the boss. And then you say, I just hope your mom doesn't find out about me because I could get in serious trouble, you know, right? I could go to jail. This dude's forehead. He's like a mirror at this point. This is like a fucking lake of sweat. Made him so fucking... He's, his forehead is so shiny at this point. He is nervous as fuck. And Chris, you know what it means. We don't... We don't need the details and have him explain the nicknames. 12, Joshua. I know, I know, I messed up. Have you done this before? No. Have you ever contacted an underage girl online before? Yes. We have evidence of that too. A 13 year old. So why should I believe you've never done this before? I just first of me. You just woke up. A chance. You woke up a few weeks ago and said, I'm going to chat up this girl and drive from your home where? New York. In Brooklyn. In Queens. Queens. I love that Chris Pui has. <laughs> he Pui had the receipts, so he's like. Have you done this before, you know, talk to someone online? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> oh god. At this point, he must... <laughs> we're just asked to be arrested. You must be feeling like you're playing checkers against some, like, chess master who won, like, every tournament. And you're just getting your ass handed to you. Just put your hands in front of you, get arrested, 
get your jail time. Hopefully execution is on, you know, the docket. <laughs> and just go away. Go away forever. Yeah. I'm Chris Hansen. And this is an investigation called Hansen versus Predator. Okay. So if there's anything else you want people to know, now is the time. No. No. You're free to leave. Um, can I use the bathroom? Because I've been holding it for quite some time. I think you should go. Okay. After I caught this predator, the Fairfield, Connecticut cops put him under arrest. Did he really think Chris was going to let him use the bathroom? Dude could do anything. I'm sure he generally though wanted to use the bathroom, wasn't going to call anyone, wasn't going to try to escape. But dude was just like, please, Chris, I don't want to use the prison bathroom. Can I just take a piss? And Chris was like, you should go. <laughs> oh, God, I fucking love it. Can you open all your hands, sir? After he's fingerprinted and photographed, he'll spill his guts to detectives. Don't wait on us. We've already eaten dinner, so we're good to go. You're the hungry guy. The detectives give him some Chinese takeout. He's waived his rights to remain silent. Did he ever get his food, he bought? Did he ever get to use the bathroom? Lord will never know. He doesn't deserve that Chinese food. Oh, God. Maybe that's why there's toilet paper on the table, though. He's... <laughs> This is how it goes. Let's take a piss over there so we can get this interview over with. You already admitted everything. What else is he going to say? If I can just give him his social security number, his credit card number. And what he's about to say will shock you. And it's 12 an age that you're comfortable with. That's your preference or? I date all ages. What? Huh? I can't hear you. I date, I, uh, I date older, younger. I mean, not younger than 12, but you know, 12 and up. Now, Cologne is about to make a truly stunning confession. Listen closely. I mean, I did have sexual relations with someone older than 12. How old? 15. When was that? Mm, uh, a few months back. Do you remember her name? Mm, it's not a her. Okay, do you remember his name? Dave. Cologne then reveals his biggest fear was meeting me instead of a little girl. This <laughs> is like my biggest fears and got by Chris Hansen. And your fears came true. Fucking lovely. And fucking disgusting he's done this before. He did say he might not have met them. I may have been miscon like understanding that. But I uh, either way, he's gone. Like it this is Clearly, not someone where some people can go in the comments and be like, oh, we just made a mistake. Oh, oh, they tricked him. This is a horrible dude who deserves to be in jail. And this, I hope he had a long ass sentence for this. And I hope these charges get added to him. The text messages, the visit to the house, evidence so overwhelming that Cologne pleads guilty to three felony charges. Attempted second degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, and attempting to entice a minor by computer. Cologne is sentenced to seven years in prison, suspended after serving three, and he must register as a sex offender. He's traded life in the big city for the big house. We got another one off the streets for now. Whoa. They didn't add additional charges, sounds like. That sounds like the usual shit they get. And really, seven? Bro, that's, these laws need to be upped. I know in some places, the time you get them lowered. We need to get them up. We need to get these charges up. We need to get these laws restricted. It's just fucking insane that someone like this can admit to everything and just like, hey, you know, you can go to jail seven years. You might get, you know, out in three. I'm just... It's fucking annoying. It, it pisses me off that someone like this can ever 
be allowed to go on the street. This was posted like seven years ago. So, I just, he's just walking free at this point. Let me know in the comments below. Yep, in the comments below, give it a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, have a good night. I'm done with hitting your wall. Sure notice, I just gotta let you know. You led me straight to the fall. I'm broken.